Have you ever wanted to monitor boat or maritime traffic in your area? Well, if you have, this is the video for you because I'm going to show you how to use Chirp to add the maritime frequencies to your Bofang radio. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY 3D Tech. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to add maritime frequencies very easily to your Bofang radio. Now, keep in mind this is just to monitor the frequencies. The Bofang radio is not certified for use on the uh, maritime frequencies as I understand it. But uh, one of the things is I live very near Lake Huron, one of the Great Lakes, and there's a lot of maritime traffic. And I just like to keep abreast of what's moving up and down the river, if you would. So with that, the Bofang is a great opportunity to do that. And with Chirp, it's very easy to add these frequencies. So I've connected my uh, Bofang UV5R to the computer already. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to radio and I'm going to click download, download from radio. I'll get that out. And as it's cloning the radio, what I'm doing is importing the existing frequencies. Now, what, I'm, what the intent here is to actually add the maritime frequencies to the existing frequencies on the radio, because obviously I use this on the ham bands too. All right, so I've imported the frequencies. Now, again, I go back up here to radio, click radio. I click import from config. I go down here to US uh, Marine VHF channels. Click OK. Now notice they've it's in, brought the channels in, but it hasn't imported them into the main workspace yet. Uh, one of the important things to notice is it starts at 1, but I already have a 1 up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus 10, and that brings it up to 11. I'm going to once again click plus 10, brings it to 21, but I still have a 21. So now I'm going to click the plus 1. So now it's going to start this at 22, and I'm going to say OK. There, there we are. So we've imported the marine frequencies into our workspace. Now we're going to go back up here to radio and we're going to say upload to radio and again click OK and we're going to clone this to our radio. So that's all there is to it folks. Now again remember keep in mind this is for monitoring the frequencies not transmitting on them. And so hopefully you found this uh, interesting and useful. If you have please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I put out regular content. Cheers.